minus 120 to burn. MSB is go. Hydrogen go. Deuterium sequence is starting. Stabilizer is set to 140. Positioning thrusters are at 7, 9, and 7. Shield generators are engaged. Oh my god. She's out. Ted. I got Zoe out and in the airlock. She's in airlock four. Do you copy? Somebody get down here. Stop her. Zoe? Zoe! Please. I... No, no, no. Go ahead. You, you look like you have a need. Guten Morgen. Hey. Briefing in 20 minutes. All right. So glad that you have joined us. Be wearing your halo. I'm wearing mine. Mission control says that comm channels 30 through 45 are glitchy. I'll look at the transmitter. Thank you. And sorry, sorry. Thanks for joining us, Zoe. Now I know I may be the new guy, but I'd like for the daily brief and the form 24 rundown to start at 0700. My mother called. Won't happen again. Does anyone notice comm 45 is glitchy? <laughs> yeah, I'm already on. <laughs> <laughs> what? Zoe, you'll be assisting Jen with her NASTO A in the science lab. Then you're going to join Paula, Donna, and Mintz for the Venus suit checkout. Wassenfelder says you're looking for Dano's. Dano's? Dark, unknown, non reflective, non detectable objects somewhere. In other words, dark matter. In other words, nothing. If nothing is 90% of the universe, then nothing. All right, guys, look, I know Donna and I. Coming on board last minute is a little awkward. Not for me. Well, it is for most of us. This is a huge, unexpected adjustment for all of us. So please bear with us. We have a lot of catching up to do. Any questions, comments, concerns? Carry on. You guys mind if we just take a minute here? I think it's important to remember where we are. You would think that there'd be a sadness when you start to pull away from Earth. An ache for the mountains and what's left of the beaches. For the sweet smell of fresh air. I guess there's a little bit of that. But when you're an astronaut, you start asking yourself questions like, how the hell did I get here? Was it hard work? Fate? Was it the hand of God? You ask yourself, why am I one of the lucky suckers leaving? Not one of the poor bastards being left behind. I think the obvious question is simply what the hell happened? And the obvious answer is that we don't really know. One minute we're on the mission, the next minute we're off. You had no warnings, no previous conditions? Well, AJ and Raleigh had small irregularities that became exacerbated on the uh, launch and trip up to the ship. If this had been a shorter mission, they'd still be up there. But the fact is, this is a six-year flight through the solar system. This was an extremely difficult decision and one that's been extraordinarily hard on the astronauts and their families. Please respect that. So, will you two be joining the team on the floor now? We certainly hope so. After a little R&R &R and uh, life adjustment. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry, AJ. As am I, Arnell. Those are the brakes, huh? Guess my place is here now. Hola, estudiantes. Bienvenidos a Antares. 
and a very special welcome to the fifth graders at Lincoln Elementary in Finley, Ohio. I am Paula Morales, the Missions Payload Specialist. And this, this is day three of our amazing mission through the solar system. We're all just starting to settle into our routines and starting our science work. Isn't that right, Jen? Yeah, yeah, that's right, Paula. This is our mission biologist, Jen Crane. Hi, Raleigh. Hey, baby. And this is our mission geologist, Zoe Barnes. Today, Jen is starting a mission-long experiment in natural selection. Can you tell us what that is, Jen? Well, what we're doing is we're studying the differences in rabbit sperm and egg selection in a weightless environment as opposed to a weighted one. Does that mean you actually make bunnies? No, we harvest the DNA from the fertilized embryos and then we destroy them. And then we start all over again using that new DNA to fertilize new embryos. It's uh, pretty much as close as we're going to get to sex in space. I mean, look. See that? I mean, look at that determination. I had a boyfriend like that once and I'm telling you, booty call. Today, we'll be testing your basic swim skills. Those of you who don't have any will be packing your bags tonight. This is a pass-fail situation. We're going to start you guys off treading water. Sounds simple? 20 minutes, no hands. When you're finished, you'll pull yourself into a life raft unaided. It's your body, it's your life, and I'm not going to tell you what to do with it. Good, thank you. It's just the sooner you aboard, the better you'll feel physically and mentally. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. We don't want to do that if you can't swim. Seriously, this is the end of the line for me. Negativity prepares the mind for losing. You're not a loser. I'm not a swimmer, dude. Oh, I feel like I'm going to puke. All right, we do that with scuba gear to take advantage of neutral buoyancy. Oh, wow. Anything that big still got to hurt. How do you think he got it? That's a war injury. Whatever happened to him, he's lucky he survived. You should ask him. No, you ask him. Scars like that come with scars. There's nothing to think about. I mean, is this guy worthy of your gene pool? You see, if you can't answer that one quickly, then you should just forget about it. I mean, I, I don't understand why you're protecting mystery man anyway. If he's telling you he had a vasectomy, then he's telling other women the same thing, and he should be outed immediately. Questions? Group one, you're in the pool in two minutes. Yeah, my back. What group are we? Three. Three? That's my least favorite number. You're going to be fine, Wallace. Come on. You're going to be fine, Wallace. Come on. The miracle of life. Space babies. Raleigh and I always joked they were going to be our kids. But you destroy them to harvest their DNA. Yeah, when they're 10 cell embryos, Paula, that's the experiment. Still, in a way, you're killing your children. <sighs> Little Miss Sunshine. Zoe, we're heading back to the airlock to power up the Venus suit. We'll need you in about 20 minutes. Copy that. Excellent. I'll come with you and make sure the cameras are set up. You happy to see him? Nadia is happy to see him. That is all about knocking boots, and you know it. I really don't care. I really don't. Still, you have to admit, it's, it's weird having Donner and Ted up here, isn't it? Can't even begin to tell you. Okay, AJ, take a deep breath. We're gonna hold off on any cardio procedures and put you guys on thinners. Maybe the plaque will dissolve on its own. How soon can I get back on the floor? Mike wants you as Capcom as soon as you feel you're ready. I'm ready now. And I'm gonna need you to help brief Ted. Yeah, of course. This can't be easy for you either. It isn't easy for any of us. Why do you think it waited so long to reject us? It's as big a mystery as the day we found it. All we can do is follow its lead. And AJ? Will he be coming back on the floor? Goss wants to do a thorough psyche eval. And if he passes? He won't pass, Raleigh. Barnes, you're coming down. The suit is up and waiting for you. I'll be right in. In 
If only I could fly. People I know aren't strangers. Where I live is in a house. Now there's a woman who needs some love. Oh. You mean the blonde with the glasses at the bar? Uh-huh. Thinking she gets a nod. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've seen her at the training center. That puts her off limits to you. No, she's not off limits unless she's a candidate. That's her fourth drink. Mm -hmm. She's drinking alone, so something tells me she screwed the pooch. Did you just say screw the pooch? <laughs> pooch. I said pooch. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. There she goes. Gentlemen. Be careful. Better hurry. She may bite. She looks a little green. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Do you have a... Thank you. I'm a little emotional. I'm just, um... I... You want to know what I did today? And you want to know what is wrong with me? You want to know? I just spent my whole... freaking life working my... I mean, dreaming about this one chance, this one frigging chance, and I, I blew it. Hi, Mom. No, it's cold up here. I, I had the sniffles. Who? Mm. No, I haven't called him yet. I haven't had the time, Mother. Do you even remember why I came up here? It was not to meet your podiatrist nephew. I don't care if he's a Scorpio. Mother Cancer women have got to be compatible with some other sign, and I am not... No, I am not interested in a relationship right now. I rip... How many times do I have to say... You know what, Mom? I am, uh... I'm gonna go. I am done with this. So say I love you. I love you, too. Bye. You know, they've been making these things for 200 years. You'd think they'd come up with something better than these buttons. I think you can get them with zippers. And this is the ladies' room. Could have fooled me with that language. Kiss your mother with that mouth? That's freaking shocking. All right, you're mocking me. Well, screw you, Maddox. Donner. You're a Maddox Donner. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Bad being. A sorry excuse for a guy who left two people on Mars, or the good's the uh, tragic American hero you want to take home comfort? That is pathetic. You're not going to pee? Four beers goes right through me, but uh, you can't just have the big bladders. Are you stalking me? Well, I probably could have taken a pee in the men's room. <laughs> Be at the bar. Ow, ow, ow. Astronauts don't say ow. Well, apparently they do now, Donna. I just did. I'm in. Control, Zoe's in. Roger that, Donna. Lock and load. Is that you, Raleigh? Just came on shift. And you back on too? Negative Maddox. He's got some further testing to go through. He'll be out here soon. Well, everybody up here thinks we're making piss-poor replacements. Well, you let us be the judge of that. Helmet on? Roger that. Escuchen me bien, estudiantes. The Venus suit was delivered to Antares over six months ago. This is Zoe's chance to check out all of the critical operating systems, the motors to help her move, the life support system, and most importantly, to check for any tiny leaks that may have developed in the seals. We do this now, so if anything is wrong, we have time to fix it. Comprenden? Suit secure. Suit is secure. We are go for pressure, Zoe. I'm set for a normal air mixture. Copy that. Everything's go for power up. Executing power up. Dr. Mintz, can you tell us why Zoe needs this much protection on Venus? Well, the surface temperature on Venus is over 800 degrees Fahrenheit, and the air pressure is that of 90 Earth atmospheres. 
So even a tiny micro leak in the suit could be catastrophic. Can you tell us how you'll check for leaks? The Zoe suits can be pressurized to five atmospheres. We're going to drop the airlock pressure to that of a vacuum. And if there's any breach at all, her pressure will fall. I love her. Hey. We miss you. A lot. Roy made you a bowl of cereal this morning. He forgot you were gone. How are you holding up? Guess I'm still in shock. It's a lot to take in in a few days. Raleigh will help you get through it. Then you'll have to help the crew when you get to Venus. It won't be easy. Why did it do this, Eve? You're the expert. Why did it wait till the last minute? Raleigh was asking the same question. Because it doesn't make sense. We know so little about Beta, about what it ultimately wants. But apparently, it's picked you and Donner. So what? Then why are we any better than AJ and Raleigh? I don't know. Well, what do you know, Eve? What do you guys know? This is a huge mission. It knows. Beta knows. That's the leap of faith here. I need you to visit pod four, honey. It chose you. Maybe it'll give you an answer. If you're the active Capcom, then what are you doing talking to me? Well, Arnell and Donna are running suit check with Zoe, so I thought I'd grab a little sugar with my baby. I still can't believe you're not up here with me. AJ says it has to do with our true path in life. There was nothing we could do. Yeah, but they drag you all the way back there and they don't do a cardio procedure? They have us on thinners. I think the plaque might dissolve all on its own. Mm. I'm making our babies. I caught a little bit of Paula Searle this morning. She's explaining the Venus suit right now. And then she ragged on me for having to kill the embryos. <laughs> um an obnoxious way to put it, but she's entitled to reviews. Yeah, as am I. And you have plenty, which is why I love you. You know I want babies with you, don't you all? I know, baby. Plenty of time for that when you get back. Yeah. Yeah. Couldn't you do that on Earth, well, whatever it is you're doing? And the short answer is yes. So why do they bother launching your fat ass up here to do it? This conversation was old when you had your boobs done. You are avoiding an answer. You don't think I ask myself that question every day? Seriously. I never should have made it through the program, I know that. But put yourself in my shoes. If they offered you this, would you ever turn it down? Look at Nadia Schilling. Her elbows are out of the water. And so are her breasts. She's flashing the AIs. She really think that'll help her get a better look? I hate men. Group one, into the raft. Group two, into the pool. Let's go. Come on, let's go. This is so stupid. What? I'm not even going to make it that far. What's the point? The point is that you tried. You made it this far, Wasp. Who's to say you're not meant to go the whole way? Me, I'm saying. It is never your own choice. You painted your face and went on an unauthorized EVA. Is that rational behavior for an astronaut? I understand completely. What I did was a highly emotional, self-destructive response. When you feel like your destiny has been ripped from your body, you are without a rudder and a fierce wind, completely overtaken by the emotion of that moment. How is he? Sane and moving. For this, I can truly apologize. But that won't get him anywhere, will it? Left arm forward. Nominal. Arm bend. Nominal. Twist on diagonal. Nominal. 
Full range of motion, though I feel like a Michelin man. Yeah, well, there's always been an uncanny resemblance. Hey. That's it for the test control. We are nominal on all. We copy that. Zoe, can you give me a pressure reading off your heads up? Just over 73 PSI. Five atmospheres, perfect. That's what we've got you out here. Let's see what happens in a vacuum. Copy that. I'm gonna try to turn around here. Something wrong, Zoe? Did you hear that? Hear what? On the comm? Are those glitches still there? Yep, just a little feedback on the comm. You okay? Nominal, Donner. I'm perfect. Uh, Raleigh, just give me a second here before you secure. Copy that. Tether is not required, Donner. Outside hatch is not opening. Well, airlocks make me nervous lately. Let's just leave it at that. All right, Paula, that's clear. Flight, we have a breach. Open hatch. Donna? Zoe? <laughs> Pressure blew her out. Ted, we got a problem. Hatch failed, Zoe's out. Repeat, Zoe is out. What the hell's happening? Steer airlock hatch open. Zoe's out. She had to hit the hatch pad. She didn't do it here. Thank God she's tethered. Zoe, you okay? The suit's operating? A little shaken up, but everything looks nominal. What the hell happened? I don't know. Did you hit the hatch pad? I did not hit the hatch pad. Well, I'm just asking. Well, you don't need to ask because I did not pull the friggin' eject lever. Fine. Can you get a hold of anything? Not a chance. I feel like a fishing lure. I'll sit tight. I'm gonna reel you in. Ten bucks. Ten bucks for what? Ten bucks, there's a no-go. A no-go? He goes home alone. Okay, here she comes. Can you run my debit, please? He took care of it. Tell him thank you and uh, to go screw himself. <laughs> My man, you're losing your touch. Yeah, it certainly looks that way, doesn't it? Damn. No, no, don't give up. I think she likes you. <laughs> Might have better luck without the sunglasses. Of course, if you're looking for this, you left it with the bartender. I think it was on purpose. Can you bring any? What? Do you have any? I've had a vasectomy. Is he in the program? Why would I tell you if he was in the program? Okay, so he's in the program. What? It's an easy denial, Zoe. Is he in the program? No. You are equivocated. Okay. So 
Which one of these schmucks is dumb enough to tell you he had a vasectomy? Group two into the raft. Group three into the pool. Oh. Oh, God. Is it an instructor? What? Please stop. Can you please just stop? You're never gonna find out, because I'm never gonna tell you. Tell her what? Nothing. Was, let's go! What? Was? Did you guys see him? No. Come on, Was, stop moving around. Let's go. Come on up sure. off the water. Why did Was go? Good, because my heads up says I'm losing pressure. You hear that flight? We have a leak. Copy that. It's built like a tank. It should hold. Donner. Zoe, can you give me some numbers? I'm at 65 PSI. 64.7.3. We could go to the OPS. The concern down here is that introducing more pressure may cause the leak to open further. Guys, I am coming with you to Venus. Then we need to get you back inside as fast as we can. All right, we're gonna have to depressurize this compartment so you can get out. Let's clear the bay and move it, guys. She's gonna be okay, isn't she, Donna? Yeah, yeah, she's gonna be fine. I was doing what I was trained to do. What the hell were you doing? I was trying to help you. Well, then be a gentleman and help me pull him out of the water. My freaking pleasure. What? Major. Oh. Finding constellations at two in the morning with a buzz on is fun. Not so much at seven with a hangover. <laughs> yeah, I'm stretching it anyway. My Merzim's a little far from my serious. Yeah. I was gonna mention that. I didn't hear you complaining. Oh, no. What's the matter? The test. Oh, come on. Stop with the tests. It's easy for you to say you've been to Mars. It's a psych eval. There's no right or wrong answer. Unless you saw the black splotches as being severed body parts, you're fine. My answers to the rotter incomplete sentence blanks went something like, if only I could fly. Okay. People I know aren't strangers. Where I live is in a house. That's what you said? <laughs> Well, all right, those are perfectly fine answers. Maybe if I was applying to space preschool, yeah, could I have been a little bit more stupid? Well, uh, let me tell you, actually. You know, a couple years back, we had this cannon by the name of Rogers, okay? I took this guy up in the trainer, and he's puking the whole time, all right? So we, we set her back down again, and he's so desperate to get out that he thinks the eject lever is the canopy. He did not. 500 feet straight up. 500 feet down, bam. She didn't have time to open. That's terrible. Yeah, but it's more stupid than you. He died. Yeah, but it was funny. Donner, it's 
This is personal, don't you get it? That guy is me. I am clueless, dead guy. I just pulled the eject lever. Closest I'm gonna get to the space program was last night here screwing you. Oh, so that's why you did it? Did what? Screw me last night. Get your little piece of the space program? I'm sorry. Wasn't that part of your pickup line? Yeah, for civilians. You know, I thought you were a civilian. I don't screw astronauts. Then why'd you sleep with me? I don't know. Drunk? Wrong. So wrong. I got you. Mm, you got me. You knew. Even when I told you why I was here, you knew. What did I know? You knew that I would never make it into the program. Zoe Barnes. Hi. Yes. Ha. Right. Well, yes, I am flying out this morning. That's very nice of you to say. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much for calling. I was the agency administrator. Hey, I'm sorry. Look, they, there's something like a thousand applicants for every person that makes it. It's really brutal. Just kiss me, okay? for your fight. I don't screw astronauts, daughter. Huh? I just got in. Are you there, Donner? I'm here, Zoe. Mission control, I'm in the airlock. Hatch is secure. We copy that. Ted, you guys want to get back in the corridor, you can repressurize now. Copy that. How's your pressure, Zoe? I'm at 24. 23.9. Guess what? I am looking at Canis Major. I can see it. That would be a perfect Merzum serious arrangement, I think. Yes, it would. Much better than yours. Although yours is pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna start pulling you back in now. Sure as hell beats ceiling sparklies. She's going from five to two atmospheres in less than ten minutes. Her speech is starting to slur. Nitrogen necrosis? Yes. It's time to start worrying about the vents. Donna, switch to private comm, too. She's getting a little loopy, isn't she? We have her on a normal air mixture for these tests. She's getting a nitrogen buildup in her blood like she's on a 50-meter scuba dive. Well, I can handle a drunk. With the depressurization, Claire's worried she might be getting the vents. I'll set off the hyperbaric chamber. Can't you guys give her a pressure boost? Negative, Donner. That micro leak we have is getting bigger by the minute. You're telling me to pick up the pace a little bit, aren't you? I'm telling you, if you want that fish to be alive when you reel it in, you pick up your pace a lot. Roger that. Stop talking. Oh, it 
We get her out of the suit as fast as we can, then we get her into the chamber. Get off your ass and do something. What? T tell me what to do and I'll do it. She's down to about 10 PSI. Her interior suit will keep her pressure up, but she's only got three minutes of air. That's not enough time to get her in. Floor's open. Ideas, people? Roughly five minutes after losing consciousness before sustaining brain damage. Might be enough time. What about what about spit, Arnell? That you was? Yeah, yeah. Can she spit? A, a thick one might slow a micro leak considerably at that pressure. And it would it would find the hole on its own. Couldn't hurt. Anything's worth a shot. You get that, Donner? Copy on the loogie. Zoe, you think you can spit for me? Spit? Yeah, spit. Hock a loogie, big one, right down in your suit. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm not. I'm serious. I need you to hock a big one. Crowley, is he making fun of me? Zoe, do it. How big? Big as you can. Right now, do it. Come on, right now. Slowing. Slowing. Holding at seven. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, very impressive, Stephen, but truly disgusting. No, <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> There is a reason he's on this mission. Donner, get her back inside before she gets the bends. Roger that. I was a pretty decent athlete as a kid. Hoops, soccer, baseball. When it came to choosing up sides, I was almost always picked first. And that leads to a certain arrogance. It's an expectation. You perform well, you win. It's cause and effect. prepare you well for being an adult. Schilling? Stella, pass. Barnes? Pass. Lawson Felder? Send that boy back tomorrow. I want him passed. He can't swim. Teach him. Life? isn't always fair. I don't understand. I'm part of this team. I'm so sorry, AJ. Failure can be rewarded. We'll find something for you in research. Merit can be looked at like a disease. Sometimes, I think the only natural selection happens in a Petri dish. But it's in a petri dish. That's not really natural, is it? No answers in the hatch blowing. She didn't do it. Yeah, Michael, we found that leak today and not on Venus. Yeah. 
freaky lucky. So the question is, who or what is it that's picking the teams? And why can the results seem so unfair and so painful? I have no answers. All I know is, if they pick you first, you better come through. And Defying Gravity continues next Thursday at 9. Newsnight is over on BBC Two now, and here on BBC HD, a little music from Patti Smith. <laughs>